No excuses could be made to not make this video. I've had a really awesome time thrifting lately and I picked up some very cool things. So I wanted to share them with you and get back into YouTube again. Okay, some of this stuff is very fresh. Fresh, still in the bag from yesterday. And um, I'm gonna save the best for last, of course. Okay, so I went into a no-name thrift store, which are my favorite kind of thrift stores because usually they're not so mega big that um, the proceeds, only a small fraction actually goes towards the cause. So I like small town thrift shops. Anyways, everything was half off. So I think everything in this bag here was about two bucks. I got this top, which is like a Mexican style, beautiful embroidered blouse. And it's very light and airy, kind of sheer as you can see, very cute. So it's also embroidered on the back. That's a really pretty, pretty piece that I like florals with um, black, mostly like dark florals. Then got something, ooh, there goes the receipt. Got something sort of 70s, like roller girl-esque kind of looking stripes. And I think this boat neck, it's just meant to be a boat neck, but perhaps I can stretch it out to be at the shoulders, off the shoulders. Anyways, these are such fun colors. Pink, peach, yellow, red, green, blue got like roller girl vibes <clears throat> that was like two bucks also and I know you haven't seen me for a while I've been still thrifting my regular uh, amounts of too much <laughs> but um, I've added stuff to my shop and um, Depop a lot regularly so I'm not just continually hoarding clothes for myself I got these really nice sway breezy light pants um, striped pants are a really big thing this season lately. I think they're really big all the time because on any uncomfortable day or any day you don't want to really put much thought, striped pants are always the answer. So these are really nice. These were two bucks. Everything was half off. So yeah, four dollars half off. These were only two bucks. Really nice fabric. This was really cute. Okay, so this was $3.50. <gasps> 350 shocker and the color on it has bled I can tell but I still think it makes it look sort of subtly it makes it look sort of subtly tie-dyed so I think it works it is this jumpsuit here with very wide legs and a nice ruched top bodice part and then a tie at the um, the neck like a halter anyway it's really cool another very comfortable chic silhouette and with the burnt orange and the color running I think it works to be like tie-dyed so that was worth 350 so that was that thrift shop and then at this uh, hospice thrift store another kind of small town one I picked this piece up and I think it was like three bucks and I hope you can see it's sort of like a faded chambray chambray like denim truck stop kind of sleeveless top i used to sketch a lot in high school especially like eyes or girl feminine faces um and i recently saw somewhere i think it might have been prada where they had a top just like this this like chambray with really nice sketches that were familiar like high school sort of doodles of girls faces and eyes and it was over a top similar to this so I think I might try my hand at sketching a face it's been it's been a few years but I think it would look really cool I just have to figure out placement and it wasn't too much money so it's good for experimenting next thing I picked up is this beautiful midi skirt I hope you can see the gorgeous like crinkled material and ruching. I'm putting this up on my shop. It's so pretty. I think um, <clears throat> I put on a few pounds so I don't think I can squeeze myself into this. So um, yeah, this will be available on my Depop. It's so beautiful and perfect for summer. Just love it. Love a white skirt. 
Oh my gosh, I'm surprised I found this piece because I've been looking at them and seeing them randomly. It's so wrinkly, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I've been seeing these places like eBay or Depop. Did not want to pay like the ridiculous $200 price tag. Anyways, forgive the wrinkles. It's an old school Seattle Seahawks, like satin varsity style jacket. Oh, forgive the wrinkles. I'm sorry about the wrinklage. Hopefully you can get my mood. And when I was little, I used to live in Seattle, so Seattle holds a special place in my heart. This is true vintage. It's Chalkline, the brand. So um, I'm going to go ahead and have to do some remedying. This was 7 bucks, but very cool piece. Yay, Seahawks. Yay, Seattle. Couldn't tell you anybody on the team. I just love Seattle, so... Look at this bag. It is a humble paper bag. No one would guess anything fabulous is inside this humble paper bag, but let me tell you. Are you ready? Okay, first we have some irregular choice heels. Oh, look at the heel on these faceted heels. Geometric shape. They are so cool. And then like a slipper sort of shoe front ankle strap very cute and on the bottom it's got um i don't know if you're familiar with this brand but it has the rabbit white rabbit and teacups and this was five bucks um they are so cute and i'll be adding these on my depop they're so fucking cool absolutely cool something i always wanted to find thrifting but never had until now and I saw these from a distance and I couldn't believe my eyes. My eye went straight to the inside of the shoe and saw the label first. It was like a hawk attacking its lunch. It's these <gasps> Mew Mews. Look at these Mew Mews. Oh my God, they're gorgeous. The emerald um, suede fronts and disco silver shiny. Yes, I wish they were my size. They are not. So some lucky gal is going to get these gorgeous Mew Mews. And I like mixing up booties in the spring and summer too. I don't think you should put away those shoes and save them only for fall and winter. These are fun. They get a lot of life in the spring and summer. <gasps> God. I was so excited. I even texted my husband thinking he would share in the excitement of me finding some Mew Mews at the thrift store. Of course, he didn't feel the same excitement, but I had to, I had to shout out and shouting out in the store was not an option because then they would know that I was coming in there and taking all their valuable stuff for only five bucks. So yes, here's my lovely Mew Mews. And then at another hole in the wall thrift store, which are my favorite. I mean, I will even go down some, I don't want to say shady looking places because I don't want you risking your life to find some weird things at weird thrift stores, but this one was really off the beaten path. Anyway, I got these really cute crabs. I got crabs. The guy who owned the shop told me that these were uh, ashtrays. Because the little top opens on that. Oh, they both open up. They're really unique and cool little trinket boxes. And the pinchers move. Uh, they're like heavy brass. And they're just very unique, cool conversation starters. So they sit on my table at the moment. I have a lot of trinkets. I love finding weird, unusual odds and ends at yard sales and thrift stores. Um, so I've listed this on my shop. Um, they're just very cool and strange and unique. And I think, anyways, I got these and um, yeah, that's awesome. I still thrift a lot and I still work on my shop a lot. So come on over and check it out there. But I've missed you guys. Let me know you're out there still. All my old buddies from the past, thrift hauls. I miss you ladies and gents and I hope to see you again soon with more thrifting goodness. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Bye.